So today has been absolutely crazy. I'm packing up my whole family to head on a week-long road trip to Tennessee today, and the power has been out for like, five hours at this point, which normally would be fine on a summer day. It's it's not too hot, which is great. I have the windows open. It's only in like the high 60s, so the kids are playing outside, but they also have taken all of their toys out of every bin and basket all over the house. So today is one of those days where I kind of wish I had television so they could just sit in front of it and not make a huge mess, but it is what it is. We'll just have a little cleanup party at the end of the day before we hit the sack and then hit the road tomorrow. So I wanted to share with you my massive snack food haul. I went to Costco and Walmart, and then I have a couple of items too, some of my staples that I get week to week from Aldi. And I wanted to show you all of the junk food and some healthy snacks too that I bought for our Tennessee road trip. For this trip, I'm just packing snacks for the car and for the hotel room and to bring with us on some of the activities we do throughout our trip. Now, both of the hotels that our family is staying at offer a free breakfast in the morning. So if that wasn't the case, I would also be packing up yogurts and maybe some cereal and milk and granola, some fresh fruit, um, just to kind of hold us over in the mornings because that is definitely a way to keep your trip a little more economical, a little more budget friendly if you don't go out for breakfast every morning, especially it's me and my husband and four children and that can really add up quickly. And we wanna save our money for some of our other bigger meals of the day, AKA barbecue and fried chicken and biscuits. <laughs> now, if you have any recommendations on where my family should go during our time in Nashville, please leave them in the comments below because when this video is posted, I think we're gonna be in Dollywood. Um, I should be posting this video on Monday. So we're gonna be in Dollywood that day and then we're gonna travel from Gatlinburg West through Knoxville just for like an afternoon and then we'll finish off our trip in Nashville. So bear in mind, we have four children, seven and under. So I'm not super interested in like Broadway at midnight, <laughs> going crazy with all the bachelor and bachelorette parties. It has to be kid friendly, but we love music. We just thought this would be a perfect vacation spot for us to check out. We have never ever been to Tennessee before and this was just something that kind of came to mind because I wanted to pick a location that was a reasonable driving distance from our home here in Pittsburgh. So it's gonna be about an eight hour trip and I will show you in a second, we have enough snacks to cover all of our time in Tennessee. So first I just wanted to share with you kind of an overview of everything that I bought. Kind of went crazy at the store. We usually only have like one or two junk food items on hand. Like I like to have pretzel sticks or tortilla chips or something. Just for something crunchy and salty and a little snack for my kids. And usually we'll have some fruit snacks, maybe some granola bars. But this is like all of our favorites in one spot. So I'm gonna go through each item and tell you what I got. So the first thing I found was on sale at Costco and it's these individual bags of Popcorners chips. These are so tasty, they're nice and light and crunchy. It tastes like popcorn but it's in the shape of a little tortilla chip. Well I should say it also has the texture of popcorn too but all three flavors have turned out to be really delicious. This box is not full anymore. We've eaten like half of them already. <laughs> we could resist, so I got this a couple weeks ago, but it's been a really nice afternoon snack for us, and honestly, white cheddar was usually my favorite, but I had never had the sea salt and kettle corn before, and they are both really, really tasty, so I recommend all three flavors. I have been wanting to try brownie brittle for so long, and it was on sale at Costco, buy one, get one free, as you can see, there's only one bag left because I already ate my way through the first bag, but it is really, really delicious. So I think brittle is a little bit of a confusing name because when I think of brittle, I think peanut brittle, which has a very different texture than what this is. This is kind of like, if you've ever had a Tate's cookie, which are like really thin and crispy chocolate chip and other flavors of cookies that you can get in bags at the grocery store. This has a very similar texture, so it's like a brownie flavored cookie. The inspiration behind this treat is the crispy edges on homemade brownies. So these taste like really good quality brownies with little chocolate chips in them, but they're nice and crispy and just an awesome little snack to have. This next item is for my husband, but of course we'll all be snacking on it too because it is so good. This is one of his favorites. It's called Munchies, and I've never seen it in any other flavor, but it's called the Cheese Fix flavor. This was the biggest size bag I could find at Walmart, but of course they sell massive bags at Costco too if you really wanna go ham on your munchie mix. But the reason why we love this so much, the cheese flavor is really, really good, but every single component in here, you've got the Doritos, Cheetos, 
cheddar sun chips, and rolled gold. Every single one of those is a winner. It's not like one of those party snack mixes where you're like, oh, I'm gonna pick out all the pretzels and all the little like cheddar cheese things, and then I'm gonna leave all the other crackery bits behind because they're just not up to snuff. Every single ingredient in here is so, so yummy. I always have a box of granola bars on hand. This is just the Costco brand, but they're really good, and they're nice and small. They're not too big for the kids, so they'll always finish what they start, and this is just a chocolate chip flavor. I forget how much these cost off the top of my head, but it really is a good bang for your buck. 64 bars in a box. I wanna say it's like $7, so that's a good deal. And then one of my favorite, favorite snacks to buy for a road trip or a beach trip, whenever we go on vacation in the summer, I always get salt and vinegar Pringles. I love salt and vinegar chips, but in Pringle form, they are just my absolute favorite. This is my favorite flavor of Pringles. I just love the crunch. Something about them just screams vacation to me. So I always have to buy the salt and vinegar Pringles. Next, I have fruit snacks, and this is not my favorite kind of fruit snacks. Um, I like slightly, how do you describe them? It's like soft gummy. These are a little more chewy gummy. Um, but this is what they had at Aldi, so I grabbed these. The kids really like having them, and they had good flavors too, like a nice variety of flavors, as opposed to just like cherry, lemon, and orange, which were some of the other boxes there. I have applesauce pouches for the kiddos. I have some other flavors in the kitchen too. I just grabbed these two because they were still in their package. It looked a little bit nicer. But I have apple cinnamon and apple strawberry. There's um, peach, banana, multi-fruit, which I think is banana and strawberry mixed together, and they have unsweetened too. So lots of different flavors to choose from, and it just makes it nice in the car especially to have the little applesauce pouches. Theoretically no mess, although of course something always happens with my two-year-old son where there's an applesauce explosion, but we can handle it. We're bringing lots of baby wipes too. We'll clean it up. So my son Jack loves these cheese it grooves. They have kind of more of a tangy flavor and more like a robust savory flavor, I would say. And they're a little bit thinner too, kind of like a crispy cracker. And then of course, Cheez-Its are classic. We had to get those. My dad's probably favorite snack food is Cheez-Its. He eats like at least a box a week, I'm sure. <laughs> so I grew up on Cheez-Its and we always have to have Cheez-Its as a snack in our road trip arsenal. Now I do wanna say that all these Cheez-Its, I forget what, they call their little like cheddar cheese snack crackers, but those are very good and they taste almost exactly like Cheez-Its. Unlike the cheese nip snack, which I absolutely hate and do not recommend to anybody. So either go with Cheez-It brand or the Aldi brand Cheez-Its. Then we've got these Haribo peaches, which was a total impulse buy. I don't even know if I've ever had this brand before, but they just look so good. I never ever go down the candy aisle and I wanted something like gummy and chewy. I should have gotten something sour though because that's another flavor that you know sometimes you'll crave when you're snacking, but these just look so good, nice and soft and fresh. And then we couldn't decide between princess goldfish, which are colored pink, it looks like. They're still like the classic cheddar flavor, but Emma chose those, and then Benjamin needed the rainbow goldfish, so we just went with both. The bags are kind of small anyway, so they'll go through those really quickly. And what I like to do is give them little solo cups, like plastic or foam cup or something that they can put in their cup holder, and then I just fill it with little handfuls of snacks. So it keeps it a little more contained as we're driving. These chips, the Ruffles All Dress Chips, are ridiculous. This is probably my new all-time favorite snack food. I could eat a whole bag of these in one sitting, no problem at all. Number one flavor in Canada. So yeah, this is kind of newer to the United States, I'm pretty sure, but it tastes like a barbecue chip meets a salt and vinegar chip meets a sour cream and onion chip, or like a cheddar sour cream chip. It's this super tangy, savory, salty combination of flavors that is just Bomb, I love these so much. And Aldi actually made a version of these. It's their Clancy's brand, which is just their store brand of potato chip. And it was an all dressed, crunchy, wavy potato chip. And it was a special edition, or like limited edition product. I've never seen it again. They had it for a few weeks, several months ago, and I bought a couple bags. We ate them in like 24 hours. So I didn't want to stock up because I knew we couldn't not touch them. <laughs> we just would have eaten them all anyway. Aldi, please bring those back because these are just my absolute favorite kind of potato chip. If you have not tried All Dressed, do it and do it now. So one of my husband's favorite snack foods and something that his family likes to eat, it's a tradition at Christmas time, we all get bags of these Gardetto's snack mix. And this is a special bag because it's only the rye bagel chips 
and they're like garlic flavor. They're really intensely garlic flavored. They are so good. They're definitely my favorite component. You know how I was talking before about the munchies and how all items are created equal. They're just so, so delicious. This is the best item in the Gardetto's snack mix, in my opinion. They have some like little breadsticks in there and some little pretzels, but these bagel chips are the best. And at Walmart, I saw they had this small bag of only the bagel chips, so I had to get this for my husband to try because this is his favorite part too. And then this is just standard classic trail mix. This is Kirkland brand, so this is from Costco. And I liked that it had name brand M&Ms in it because I feel like not all candy coated chocolate pieces or whatever they call them generically are created equal. So this has real M&Ms, it has, let's see here, peanuts, raisins, almonds, and cashews, the massive bag. So I thought that would be good to have in the car too, just for a little protein boost. This is one of the healthy ones, right? Yeah, I'm gonna tell myself that. I have some apples. These were just left over in my fridge and I'm just gonna throw them in the car too because health. We love these Danimal smoothies. This is the strawberry flavor, but they have all different flavors. Raspberry, there's a mystery flavor, which we think is apple cinnamon. They have strawberry banana and orange cream is really good too. It's kind of like a dreamsicle, I think that's what you call it. We call these monkey yogurts because they all have little pictures of monkeys on the front. But. Um, my older kids can just peel off the foil and drink them. I like to bring little straws and you can just pop them through the top and it makes them a little less messy. Although again, people end up spilling them anyway, but it happens, <laughs> we'll survive. But I'm gonna bring a bunch of these in a cooler too, along with just some cheese sticks. I have mozzarella cheese sticks and I think I have some cheddar cheese sticks in the fridge too. So we'll bring those for a slightly healthier and more filling snack for the kiddos. Lastly, I found these Reese's dipped pretzels which looked so, so good. Now, you can see my hand here. Unfortunately, this is a very small bag. So, um, well, it's unfortunate for my family because I'm not gonna be sharing these with them. <laughs> but these are uh, Snyder's of Hanover Pretzels, which by the way, I grew up in York, Pennsylvania, and I believe Snyder's is one of the many junk food, snack food factories in York County. They are known as the snack food factory capital of the world and Snyder's is one of the companies that's there. But anyway, they're pretzels, they're dipped in peanut butter candy, and drizzled with milk chocolate, and that sounds right up my alley, so I cannot wait to dig into these. Okay, so that's everything that we got for our road trip. I also have a big case of water bottles we're just gonna throw in the back. So these are snacks that are, most of them are good for the car. Honestly, I wasn't gonna buy the munchies because, you know, their hands are gonna be covered in cheesy flavored coating, but they're just so good. And we can bring all these snacks into the hotel room too. Comment below with some of your favorite junk foods and road trip snacks that you always choose when you travel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again soon.